Hello everyone and welcome back to Planet Zoo where we are here in our new Asian Adventures Zoo trying our best to watch after our little clouded leopard. I can't believe he has gotten sick already. We legitimately just got him and just managed to convince him not to try to escape out of his exhibit by going ahead and giving a gigantic leap to just jump right out. Oh my gosh, clouded leopards can jump so high. Ah, no wonder they are one of the most airborne if not the most arboreal of all of the cats. Oh my gosh. All right, so we're going to try to keep a good eye on him. Oscar ended up with rotavirus, and I don't think... Oh, good, now he's cured. Okay, good. And so now I think he's headed back over to his exhibit. So let's go ahead, and we're going to make sure that our wonderful vet here, who we will rename after one of our fantastic patrons in just a second, can get him back where he belongs. And then we are going to resume working on this challenge zoo. So this is actually not a zoo we're going to be part of permanently. Oh, look at the leaves! I never noticed how they just used a bunch of leaves to hide that concrete. It looked really fantastic. Believe me. <laughs> but we're actually here in a challenge zoo doing our best to go ahead and try to win this challenge so we can unlock the Baba Rusa's wonderful bronze statue. We tried to do that all together on a live stream and holy cow it was so hard it was so much harder than i thought it would be so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try again together here and i know that we my fellow pixel biologist are going to be able to make this happen and one of the things we're definitely going to work on if like looking over all of the exhausted sweaty people who are walking around was an indication is making sure that everyone has some proper hydration because holy cow it looks like everybody was just dying of thirst Oh good, and our mechanic was just over here. He looks like he's dying of exhaustion. Oh, we have a lot of work to do, friends. We have a lot of work to do. And we especially are going to start with taking good care of our animals. So I think Oscar was trying to escape so often because he's actually really, really, really bored. And enrichment is definitely vital for keeping our animals really happy. So let's come on over and see what we can offer Oscar in terms of clouded leopard enrichment. And I think that's going to be the goal for today, friends. So I hope you guys are ready to go ahead and strap on your zookeeper. Let's see, Clouded Leopard. There we go. Your zookeeper boots. <laughs> Don't worry. We're not going to be scooping poop today. Instead, we are going to be working on the really fun opportunity to add in enrichment items. Yes, I am so excited about this. Okay, so we need to put in some food and toy enrichment for Oscar. Let's put down some blocks of ice. If it's, yeah, it's 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's put in these blocks of ice so that they have something. Okay, they just want one block of ice to help cool them off. And then let's add in a sprinkler right over here. Okay, that is going to bring them a lot of delight. And we'll do a small ice ball. There we go. So there's some good toys for them so that they can go ahead and cool off. And we actually don't have any food enrichment available for our clouded leopards yet. So let's go ahead and assign one of our vets to researching that. And that means we need to find out which vet is currently assigned to this area. All right, to the work zones. I know that always sounds boring when it's like, all right, which work zone are we working here with? But it's actually super important in allowing us to go ahead and figure out. Okay, so that is, this would be far side. We need to add in a couple of the things that we added last time. But the work zones are like your map. So you can figure out where everybody is currently going. All right, we're gonna have you be assigned to far side. So we're, we want whoever is working here in the entrance area and we have a whole bunch of people to rename oh, we can just go ahead boom boom and manage to go down the list of so many of our amazing patrons this way huzzah why haven't i thought about this before now i'm pretty excited all right so we have a sweeper so we have somebody who's cleaning everything up and we're actually going to rename them after sam and as usual my friends i want to say a deep thank you to our patrons who make all of the adventures on our channel possible all 9,000, almost 400 of them we're getting there friends my dream life dream of reaching 10,000.
thousand videos is actually probably going to happen this year. And it has been able to happen so much because of that support going on behind the scenes because holy heck YouTube is a wild ride. You never really know where it's going to take you. And I appreciate knowing that behind all of it we have these amazing people who are trying to make sure that Chips and I at least have a tiny bit of stability going on in the background to fall back on in case anything ever does go kaboom here. And it does tend to go kaboom on YouTube pretty often. So that's, you know, very calming to think about. But all right, so Sam, we're actually going to have you be mountain climber Sam because we are up here on the mountains. And then we have one keeper and this is going to be Paige. So we're going to go ahead and uh, keeper of the clouds, Paige. And Paige, you're also working with the sun bears. So having the clouded leopards and the sun bears in the same zone, that just sounds amazing. Also, let's go ahead and put in a bit of training on some of our staff. And we have an educator. And this is actually going to be Aslan. All right, so we're going to have, um, let's see, clouded storyteller, or let's see, mountaineer, lore keeper, Hmm, I think we're gonna have, I kind of want to have like another mountain climber, but like somebody who likes to just like chat. Hiker! Okay, we're gonna have Hiker Aslan, who just enjoys being up here and like telling everybody about the great hiking. We're gonna train up our vet, and now we are going to have Mel! Like Melissa, I think, well, you know what? The, the avatars can be the avatars, whatever. It doesn't matter if they're male or female avatars. We can bend the rules of silliness into whatever we want them to be today. So this is actually going to be, um, let's say, Asian animal researcher. Let's see, or field biologist. Yeah, field biologist, Melissa. There we go. And then we're going to have, let's have another mountain climber for our mechanic and this is going to be Jamie. So mountain climber Jamie. And then we have a, another like a security officer. What should the security officer be in charge of doing? Um, maybe like, huh. We're gonna have the security officer be a ranger. Yeah, we'll go ahead. Well, ranger. You know what, I think wildlife rangers, whose job it is to usually protect all of the wildlife in a certain area are amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and have wildlife ranger. And this is going to be Angie. Boom. Now I need to knock all of those amazing people off our list. Well, really I just changed the color behind their name. So I know we have added them in. And we know we need to be working with the amazing field biologist, Melissa, on researching the clouded leopards. Bada boom, bada bing. Fantastic. All right. So now that that, oh, Sash, Sash. Oh my gosh, Sash. Oh, she just tried to mate with Oscar. I think they're calming down and feeling a little bit better about their enclosure now. Thank goodness. All right. So now that we know that's taken care of, let's actually go ahead and we're going to try to help our guest feel a little bit less overheated and exhausted. And we're going to put in somewhere for them to actually cool off a little bit too. So I'm actually gonna move this cooler over here. We'll hide it under a bunch of beautiful leaves native to Asia in just a second. And then, oh, we actually need to go ahead and do some research on more of the drinks and things that we could offer people. Cause I think right now, oh wait, no wait, huh? We have a ton of research on the drinks. Good, 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 good. What do we need mechanic research on then? Let's see, drink shops has a lot of attention. I think we would need food shops then because one of the, or like souvenir or food shops, because one of the major goals of this challenge is to get 10,000 yearly shop profit. So let's actually have mountain climber Jamie work on researching more food shops. And then while we're over here, let's come and get, let's see, pip shot juice, street fox coffee, gulpy, cosmic cow milk, I can't fit in, well, actually, can I? Huh, I might actually be able to slightly gently redo this area to maybe fit a drink stall. I kind of like that idea. I think that it's important to go ahead and provide like a spot where people can cool off a little bit. We're gonna have this be actually like in the 70s. There we go. And let's actually come in 
and try this out. Oh, <gasps> that is the opposite of what I wanted to do. I just wanted to remove this one spot. I didn't want to remove my entire thing. Ah, talk about panic, right? Okay, and then we're going to come and let's actually make a really cool glass. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, let's do the concrete and then... Oh, no, 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 no. Here we go, here we go. A habitat has become invalid. Yes, I agree. There's definitely a problem here. And, you know, I never noticed with this concrete that you could, like, make it so there's a glass window in it. And I can... Yeah, window! Like, I can't believe this whole time I never noticed, A, that you can actually go ahead and change the color of the concrete. Like, blew my mind. And B, that you can actually, like, transform it. Here, let's see. What's this color? You can actually transform it with, um... I know, important alert that requires attention. I will pay attention in just a second. I am working here. Eh. Oh, why can't I? Oh, oh, geez. I just want to ma match the color. All right, there we go. Apply. Come on over. <gasps> we did it! Yay, guys! Okay, oh, wait, I still have more to do. <laughs> okay, and apply. Did that work? Okay, that worked. This didn't work. Ugh. Okay, we'll go down the list. Give me just a second. Yep, we're gonna be covered in paint today, friends. Actually, that sounds like a delightful way to spend our day here, doesn't it? There. Okay, for some reason that won't change. I, I give that up. The cloud of leopards have not actually escaped. They are 100% located in their own spot. Here, we'll put Oscar in his thing. Mechanic cannot reach habitat. Because we accidentally deleted it for one second, all of you people, ugh, clouded dreams. I, I, the forecast in this zoo seems to be extremely cloudy with a chance of chaos. <laughs> like, we continually run into that. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, so now that's taken care of. Well, heck, that's one way to get everybody's attention, I suppose. I was just trying to make it so you people could have a nice place to get a drink from. Just freak out, like, no tomorrow. <sighs> All right, well, let's go ahead and get in this little shop. And ta-da! This is exactly what I wanted to do, but we want to do the little shop stall. So I'll go snag that from elsewhere in just a second, because I want to offer everybody water. Water is an extremely important essence of life. Everybody should have some good water. And so we're going to call, in fact, essence of life. Essence of life water stall. <laughs> and then right over here, we actually have Kyla. So this is going to be um, spring water, spring water protector, Kyla who makes sure that we have a absolutely beautiful fresh spring full of water and life the essence of life that people can enjoy and then we're going to go ahead and copy no i just want the shell we're going to come over to hippo hydration and i'm going to see if i can uh what if i what if i want it without without the inside bits curses all right well now i've got to figure out how to hide this but people were definitely very thirsty so we did a good job friends all right let's see give me one second because now i have to wrestle with trying to find a blueprint i just wanted the blueprint i didn't want anything inside it oh a quick shop for water well now i feel silly because this looks amazing and it's literally a quick shop for water so you know what we're gonna have another essence of life <laughs> Let's put another essence of life station down somewhere around here. I actually really want to put it like right over here somehow. I don't know how because like I don't think I can get the paths to like show up or link up with this bridge. But that would be so cool. Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, I can! Oh my word. Okay, that's actually really cool. I want to just have like an essence of life water shop that we're going to put on top of a big old rock, a mossy rock. I love it. And by doing that, okay, hang on lady, you're supposed to stick around here. Um, let's see, I need to intergroup edit mode. Huh, 
Okay, now I'm just making things more complicated for myself because if I delete that, we're gonna be in a little bit of a pickle. Curses! All right, this time this is just so I can get the blueprint. Just so I can get the blueprint. And then we can replace it with another water shop down here. Apparently I'm really into water today, friends. There! Okay. Now we have the shell that we needed. Oh, and the hippo is about to have babies! I'm telling you guys, that's just even more evidence of, you know, water is the essence of life. Why can I not put this... What the heck? Interesting. Oh, I'm... Oh, because I have no money. <laughs> that's why I can't put it down. Whoops. All right, friends. Well, I also can't get this started because, unfortunately, I don't have any power for it. And now I literally have no money. Um, well, I guess we're just going to have to sit for a second on that. Uh, and you know what? While we, while we go ahead and sit and wait so we can work on our water as the essence of life philosophy. Also, it looks like that philosophy is extremely popular. All right, let's open up the zoo map. And that's it. I'm calling the work zones the zoo map from now on because that just makes it feel like so much more fun to work with, don't you think? So let's open up the zoo map. We'll go ahead and assign those things. We might have enough for a rock soon. But for now, let's go ahead and uh, we're going to come over. There's a lot of poop in here. And we're going to name some of the baby little, little, like, hippos. So let's come over to this female and we are actually going to name her La Luna. After La Luna. And La Luna, I'm so glad you're enjoying our adventures here. And I hope that you are proud to be part of the river of life, which is what we will start calling this beautiful river that we will try to keep very clean. Might need to get more mechanics and definitely some more zookeepers if I want to work on the clean aspect of that. And I'm so glad you're enjoying our videos and thank you for leaving such a sweet comment. And then also we're gonna have Kenny after Kaya Kennedy. Kaya, I hope you are very happy because look at you. You are the most adorable little baby hippo. <laughs> if you ever watch a mother hippo and her baby interact together, they just are so precious side by side. I, I know hippos are one of the most dangerous animals in the world, but it's always been so enchanting to see how a mother will interact with her child. Oh, and everyone's coming over for some noms. It's nom time. And it's nom time with their new friend, <gasps> a pregnant hippo, who we're gonna name Gianna. And Gianna, thank you. I'm glad that you're enjoying the adventures too. I really know we can do it, guys. It's gonna be a little bit of a challenge because talking through everything whilst we go ahead and like explore this zoo definitely knocks us out of being in the gold range or the silver range. But hey, maybe we'll be able to go after that sometime soon over on the Twitch channel for a challenge. I think that would be fun. But I think this is going to be fun to get a chance to like explore with with all of the new items and new animals on our own pace. Oh, I'm just I'm looking forward to it, friends. All right, so let's come over. We need to actually get some utilities going. All right. Oh, this is actually like a nice looking transformer. Could I kind of sneak that back here? Because a transformer has a really powerful range. So I wonder, let's try sneaking this transformer back there. I don't think it will bother the guest if it's that far back. And we can make a little path to it. That I hope the guests completely ignore. Fooey. That wasn't as neat of a little path as I was hoping it would be. Does that bother the guests though? It does not! Yes! And now we're low on cash again, I know. But the good news is that the waters of life from the, the, the river waters of life, there we go, <laughs> should have some staff member coming over to it shortly, I hope. All right, potentially. All right, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do entrance area and entrance area for both of those staff members. And then we just need to change the name on orbiting. And so um, river diver orbiting. Welcome, 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 my friend. All right, so we're getting there, friends. I wonder if we have enough money to be able to buy a large rock to perch this thing on. 
<laughs> Let's see. The things we get ourselves into, friends. The things we get ourselves into. Let's get a dynamic mossy rock. Wait, do I not know do I not know about dynamic mossy rocks? Moss? Mossy rock? Oh, there they are. I love these things. They're my favorite rock. Alright, we'll get a big old big old one. And then stick the whole building on top of it. <laughs> Excellent. I am pleased. <laughs> All right, guys, there we go. And our clouded leopards have calmed down. They no longer have such a cloudy future ahead, uh, other than the fact that they really want to have some food enrichment and they could definitely use with a little bit more food. <gasps> and our giraffes are pregnant too. And I think with all of the waters of life, we might really see a big uptick in our yearly shop profit pretty soon. So that might be pretty useful as well. So all right, guys, thank you so much for joining us on this adventure. I'm so glad that Oscar has recovered. If you guys could, do please leave a like for our new waterways of life and possibly grab yourself some water while you're at it. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.